We've had a lot of big mods released lately, like the Griffin, Apatosaurus, the Draco Viper, and of course, Torvosaurus. But what else is to come? Well, here is my top 10 list of the best upcoming mods, in my opinion, for Path of Titans that you should all be excited for. So let's get right into it. Shantungasaurus is a giant hadrosaur dinosaur that is coming to Path of Titans. This will be the second time that this mod or creature would come to the game because the first one was made by Divine Beasts over three years ago and was one of the first mods ever to release into the game. Well, this giant is still quite a way off in its development, but we get to see a lot about it. This is by Dark Cat, and it's a completely different look to Shantungasaurus. We get to see its animations, its model, and the size, and of course, one of the skins as well. And this looks far greater than the older Shantungasaurus, and I cannot wait for it. We're finally getting to see this massive Hadrosaur back in the game, and I am really excited. Now, this one, unfortunately, won't be coming to the game anytime soon. In fact, Dark Cat themselves don't even have the mod dev kit. However, it would be very helpful if a developer or anyone was watching this video would be inclined to, you know, maybe reach out so we can get them that dev kit access so they can bring this and the other mods they are making to the game. One of the largest marine reptiles is on its way to Path of Titans. This is Mosasaurus, and this could be the next King of the Seas to come before the official Tylosaurus releases. Now, we already have a modded Mosasaurus in the game, so what makes this one different? Well, firstly, look at the model. This was firstly teased back over a year ago, and it stood up incredibly well. This is really nicely put together and I cannot wait for it. It looks gorgeous and so far this has 16 out of the 49 tasks left. So development is going swimmingly. This has been made by the Primordial Tyrants team so you know this has pedigree. The raptor that didn't even make it into the old vote that ended up with both Achillobator and Deinonychus in the game. This is Butyraptor and this is a small Dromaeosaurid dinosaur from the Cretaceous of Argentina. This is being made by the Candelaros Formation team so of course it's no surprise that this dinosaur came from the Candelaros Formation. This is a very small dinosaur and in game it's going to be roughly little bit smaller than Deinonychus so we'll be getting a smaller raptor in the game via mods and this will probably be one of the smallest raptors in the game for quite some time. We get to see some animations, the model, two of the skins and a little bit more about this mod and I gotta say it looks absolutely beautiful. Out of all of the mods that are coming soon from the Candelaris team this one is probably one of my favorites and that team have done a fantastic job with this dinosaur so far. Now this is likely to come after their Exrix and Artosaurus mod, so we have to wait for that one first. The Licky Tongue of the Dinosaur World. Well, the Path of Titans world, because technically speaking, this thing wasn't known to be a Licky Tongue in real life, or we don't know if it was. However, this is a mod that's coming from the Ancient Gods collection. And this is Borealopelter, which is the most complete Nodosaurid dinosaur ever discovered. Arguably probably one of the most well-preserved dinosaurs to exist. As I said, this is the second Ancient Gods collection creature. And this will be coming after their Chimerasaurus, which came out over a year ago now. This will have a unique feature, and it's probably going to be one of the most unique features out of any dinosaur mod that exists at the moment because it's going to get a giant prehensile tongue. And this will allow you to lick your allies, allowing them to maintain their armor integrity. You're also able to lick yourself to maintain your armor integrity as well. So you're essentially playing like a mobile emergency response paladin according to the creators of this mod. And that to me is a very exciting gameplay style. This will be smaller than Anodontosaurus, so I see it probably being a free slaughter. However, it's going to very much be an armored support dinosaur. Made by the Ancient Gods collection, and after we solved their Chimerasaurus, well, we're going to see some great things from their future mods as well. Likely the biggest dragon for now to haunt the skies of Path of Titans, this is the Dominus. This beast is being made by the XR Gila team and will be the big brother to the Draco Viper mod that recently released into the game. And this is going to be huge. So when I say this is arguably one of the biggest dragons to haunt the skies of Path of Titans in the near future, 
I am pretty much correct because this is the size of Tyrannosaurus Rex in the game but of course with one massive benefit over the Rex it can fly. This is probably one of the most complete mods on the list, aside from the next one of course, which is more so a collection of mods actually. But this has 32 out of the 45 tasks completed and will likely be the next dragon mod to make its way into the game. And I'm very confident that that will be the case. The XR Giller team are not shying or playing around at the moment because the next thing here is more so a collection of free creatures, all in various stages of development. And I'm not going to lie, there's probably even more out of these as well. But these are the giant bugs. We have the Magnaran, we have the Giga Arachne, and then we have the brand new Profunda Scorpio. And all of these have something in common. They're all giant, creepy crawlies. The Giga Arachne is a giant spider, the Magna Ant is a giant ant, and Profunda Scorpio is a giant scorpion, which, looking at its concept art, is going to be bigger than pretty much half of the Path of Titans roster. The Magna Ant out of all of these is the closest to release, compared to the Dominus. This is on 35 out of the 43 tasks completed in its development, and it says that on Trello. This has been in testing for a while, and it's arguably be getting more tasks added to it, because the creators recently announced that this will be getting a brand new ability that we only see on one other mod in the game, and that is the Psittacosaurus mod by Primordial Tyrants. And if you can guess what it is, the Magna Ant will be able to dig and burrow underground, which is quite exciting. Of course, made by the XR Giller team, They've definitely got a lot of things to be excited for. We spoke about the Dominus only two parts ago, but this one here could arguably be the most anticipated dragon in the Path of Titans mod scene. In fact, this technically was the first flying dragon to ever have a model or be known to be coming to the game, and this is through the Primordial Tyrant's Ignis branch. Not to be confused with a prominent community member of mine called Ignis, by the way. I know back in the past they got confused with it a lot. People asked them if they were the creator of the Ignis mods, which obviously they were not, but always funny that being said this is currently undergoing a complete rework with the new face shown off with incredible details on it but the old mod is roughly the same size as the hip of a tyrannosaurus rex in game now i'm going off a comparison which was with the modded old giganotosaurus which back then was roughly the same size as tyrannosaurus rex either way this seems to be similar in the size of the xi giller draco viper this will arguably be the pioneer of the Ignis Flying Dragons, and there are a lot of Ignis Flying Dragons coming. And if you want to see a whole video where I went over a bunch of dragons that are coming to the game, check out this video here. We have Dimetrodon in the game currently, but are you ready for its herbivorous brother? Adaphosaurus is a genus of medium-sized synapsid from the Permian of both North America and Europe roughly 300 million years ago. This is an old boy. This isn't the biggest chap going Evo, with the biggest being around 3 meters in length and just over 1 meter tall at the tip of its sail. This is a mod coming from the same group that brought us the Dimetrodon, the Wrath of the Goliaths team, and according to the mod authors, this will be a bulky, all-terrain herbivore that specializes in tanking attacks. So far, we only know it's old Wrath of Goliath's models, but there are more to come. With the model completed, pretty much we might see more updates about this in the future. Arguably, this mod is quite a way off, however, but I love these synapsid creatures because they're absolutely fantastic. I love creatures from before the dinosaurs. Dimetrodon is always one of my all-time favorites. Gorgonops and stuff like that. Adaphosaurus is up there just because it's weird and wonderful. And that's also, you know, with Catilorhynchus as well, which is up there too. In my eyes, this is probably the most exciting Ceratopsian dinosaur to come to the game. This is Argophalmus, and this is a mod made by the Absentia community, the same team that introduced the Acrocanthosaurus to the game. This, to me, is an extremely exciting addition to the game because it has an incredible and well-detailed model, and we also know one thing that this dinosaur will be. It will be a semi-aquatic herbivore, which means this will technically be the first semi-aquatic ceratops team in the game. 
It will have abilities that will focus on a water-loving lifestyle, like Hydro Charge, which is a charge that you can only do while you're wet, Swamp Foot, which improves your turn when wet, and more. The mod's kit is heavily stacked like the Acrocanthosaurus because this has 33 abilities in total from the head to the tail and all that jazz or vocals. I don't think it actually has any tail abilities. And there is a lot of information about this. I cannot wait to see this in the game. Probably one of my favourite upcoming mods that's closer in development because, well, have you seen the Absentia community? These guys know how to make an incredibly well-made mod. And Argophalmus is definitely one of them. This isn't a video without Titanoboa, which slivers its way into the number one spot. This is a large, extinct genus of Boid. The family, of course, that includes Boas and Anacondas. This came to around 12.8 to 14.3 meters in length. The thing was huge. And it, there is no surprise that people want this in the game. This is being made by the Divine Beast team. And although it's not properly in development just yet, we know it is coming. And although it is quite a way away, if you look on the Trello board, it is very, very far out in terms of its development. This thing will be breaking boundaries for Path of Titans. It will be the first snake to come to the game. It will fight through those IK issues that plague snakes. And if you want to know why having a snake in a dinosaur game is revolutionary, watch this video right here. This will seemingly come with a constriction ability as well, draining the oxygen of your opponents until they breathe their last breath. The Titanoboa will surely be a menace to anyone and will once again break the game's boundaries. This is something that the Divine Beast team have said and they're striving to do. And I cannot wait to see the final result from this. However, now that I've mentioned Titanoboa, I can release and showcase some of the recent news from it, which is this, because it now looks like, looking at this subspecies, we may be getting a semi-aquatic gameplay style as well, because this looks like more of a semi-aquatic version or build for the Titanoboa, so maybe it could be a plus whatever percent swim speed species. Anyways, that's my top 10 upcoming mods for Path of Titans. Let me know in the comments which one out of these are you most excited for, but also, what is your top 10 list? Comment it down below because I'd love to know what yours is. I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.